Hey guys, this is Stephanie from My 7 Words Life Coaching and today I want to share a personal story of how I found the balance between being in my head and being in my heart. Because I've tried both, but both of both to the extreme. So once when in 2016 I left backpacking and I've done it for a year, I followed my heart. I didn't have a thought that occurred to me. I constantly went by my gut feeling, my intuition, and uh, I felt what, what I needed to do. I felt where I needed to go. So basically, anything that happened to me came from my heart. Now, after the trip, when I realized that life coaching is my calling and I actually became one, then the business needed me to be more analytical, be more in my head and think more often. But the problem was that it actually went into my head and my personal life and all my decisions and everything was based on my head. So I spent an insane amount of time up here and no time down here, which was very frustrating because I felt that my head was so loud, there was so much noise, and I tried so hard to connect with my heart. I tried meditation, I tried to go for these beautiful long walks, but nothing really worked. So I noticed that I do this pendulum movement when I go from one extreme to another until it finds the golden middle. So I did 2016 only in my heart and I've done 17 only in my head so it was time to find something in the middle so my real struggle was by being only in my head is that I generated problems after problems of course I was overthinking it it wasn't coming naturally so once I decided that this is the direction I need to go then life didn't necessarily turn out that way. And I wasn't paying attention to the signs, to everything else around me crumbling and crashing down until it was too late. And my energies were so low because of it. Because in my head, it just made total sense to follow exactly what I had planned. And when shit hit the fan, I remembered how I felt in my heart that maybe this is not the right way to go. So, But I ignored that feeling because... My head makes sense, but my heart didn't make any sense. It wasn't logical. It was a feeling. And yet, i already been through this. I listened to my heart all the time for over a year. So where did it go? So my solution was just to listen to what my body, my surroundings, or the results of my actions are telling me. Because sometimes when I think of something, I try to pursue it. And as hard as I try, everything is trying to stop me then I need to really rethink, is life just throwing me obstacles to overcome because I need to be challenged or this is not the right way for me? And then I feel it. I try to close my eyes and just feel it. It's like, is this something that I really believe in? Is this something that I really need? Would it make me happy if I pursue it? Or what are the alternatives that I can choose? And then I try to combine thinking and feeling. If my heart is clearly telling me that this is not my path, then it doesn't matter what logic says, I just stop pursuing it. Because now I know from my experience that as much as I try, then I still fail because it was just not the right path for me. And now let me tell you the personal experience that made me realize all of this. For over seven months, I was getting built a website by a team that was not the right choice for me. And I spent time and energy and stress and so much money on it and after seven months it wasn't ready it wasn't working it was never going to be working and i was there devastated because i felt that without the website i cannot start my business and then someone told me of course you can if people need what you have it doesn't matter if you have a website or not it doesn't matter how it looks just start so i stopped and instead of Boiling in my misery of losing out on money and time, I decided to just start without it. And let's see what happened. And that's exactly what I did. And it felt right. It felt great to finally again create content, to reach out, to start coaching. Because I felt like I was a coach without being able to coach. So then I told myself, it is time to learn from this mistake and realize that if my heart is telling me it's not the right way to go, then it's not the right way to go. So to recap the whole thing, every time I'm about to make a decision, I also close my eyes and I see if I feel anything. If there's a feeling, yes or a no, what should I do with it? If there's none, what is my head telling me? After I made a head decision, is my heart telling me to decide otherwise? In my case, every heart decision that I made was the right decision for me, or at least I made the best of it. So it didn't feel like I was missing out on another option. 
Now, on the other hand, with the head decisions, I did have a lot of trouble. So now I balanced it out and I pay attention to my intuition and my gut feeling. If you like this video, please share this with anyone who needs to hear these words and have an awesome day. Bye.